Hi, let's start with uh, JavaScript programming now. We have been building a profile and we have got some grasp on HTML, CSS. It's time to learn programming because that's what we are here for. It's a separate track. We'll keep working on profile and we'll keep working on JavaScript. But to work on your profile, you need some projects. And for a few projects, we need some programming. In this course, we'll start from very beginning. We'll build very small things and then we'll put all of them together to make something useful useful for everyone useful for you your friends your family everyone out there and you can publish that i said this earlier all the things which you make in any of the courses any of the tracks will be published things which you could show off ui development development not ui development is about showing what you have what you are doing so keep sharing with your family let's jump into the course now And we'll save this in learning meta startup new folder. Let's name it JS track for now. This is the new track. So now we'll get all these files. You're inside the folder. Rename this to your index.html. Let's close this. This is very easy. There's something called emit which creates a basic HTML for you. It's a shortcut to write code. You see this simple HTML5 starting point gives you a page ready. Title it. We'll be building a personal expense app. So type it that. Type that. Main JS, main CSS. These files we don't have. We don't need it right now. Let's render this and see how this is working. There's nothing, just the title. Let's start building this now. Close this. Since we have only one file, we don't need this explorer. First, we have a body, we'll put a button. Plus button. Save it, refresh it. Button is here. We want this button to be in center. We have already done that part of CSS. Let's just write style tag here and then say, just say body display flex and we want everything to be in center so we'll say justify content center align items center save refresh this comes here this is not working and we have to give a height so height 100 pH good so we have a plus button Let's bring up the console. Saying main.js is not found. That's fine. This file is not there. Obviously not found. Ignore that error for now or we can just remove this. We don't need a main.js file right now. Refresh this. You have a button. You have a console. All we are doing in this first class is when you click this button, there should be a number displayed here. Nothing is happening and number should add every time so let's write some javascript let's see what we need to do first thing we need to do is listen to click event right 
second thing which we need to do it every click increment a number take a number first which starts from zero like that's all we need to do three steps let's do that one by one first let's do this take a number which starts from zero let counter equals zero that's it that's variables for you guys see the thing which i'm trying to do with this course is you don't need to learn each and everything like a book keep coding and you will learn everything so every click increment a number how do you increment a number on every click you do counter goes to counter plus one here this is variable this is assignment this is addition three chapters covered <laughs> you don't need everything actually to start with just keep doing it i will keep telling this all the time you just need to do, keep doing things and you will learn so this is how it is right and then you listen to click event okay let's listen to click event how do you listen to click event first you assign an id to this say button or say btn counter and then you use something called document dot query selector now what is document understand this is document your dom your document object model your view whatever you say that's the document and on that document we are running something called a query selector command what it does is we just saw in css right in the last lesson how if you have something like id or class you can select that using dot so for for classes you can use dot and then something this that the selected string for id you can use hash see this is selected lesson for you dot and hash is mostly what you would need for now so let's say button counter okay this gives me the the item so say const element equals this now see these are es6 the new javascript does not have the var concept i mean it does have but you do not need to use it so what it has instead is let and const any variable which you are going to ch change is this let counter equals to zero counter plus one which means this variable is not final this we are not going to change we need this as a constant so first thing which we did we are not listening to click event yet we'll do that later first thing which we did is get the button reference call it reference for now or just say why get the button element that's the right term let's use the right term get the button element now listen to click event see all you need to get the button was learning this one query selector you put an id and get it all you can learn more about this on mozilla let me just open this anything which i use everything is there on mozilla developer network so md and web docs are the best if you google anything say query selector uh, anything it would come as w3c w3 schools but this is not a trusted source always go to developer.mozilla.org to see what you want to do this is actually get element by id this is different what we need is query selector and how do you google is query selector mdn so that's the first thing and then read about it I want everyone to read about these things it's it's this is the homework which would make you much better than just doing the course so let's go back let's go smaller now so we got the button element if you want you can see the button element let's do that why not so console.log element save this refresh this says null why does it say null because we are doing a mistake here script is loaded first so the document is passed from top to bottom script loads first 
and then there is no button when this code runs. So there are two ways to do this. One is an onload method which we will discuss later. For now what we will do is we will move the script below button at the end of the body. This is temporary. We will learn about these things. And now let's do this. Refresh. You see we have got the button now. Very nice. It shows button. See. So you got the button. Now you need to listen to click event. How to listen to click event? We can remove this console. Okay, this is how you co comment in JavaScript. Okay, this is comment. Now this will not run. Remove this. This will run. There is a shortcut in uh, in VS Code that is command and slash. Let me type it out. CMD plus slash. So in Windows it will be CTRL, CTRL, control, that is control plus slash. Okay. Anyway, coming back to the topic. Console.log element. Okay. Now listen to click event. How to listen to a click event? 